This has actually come up several times. People have just asked, uh, what settings do I like for a twin stick shooter? Now, straight away, this is just default Steam controller. There's also that joystick, the three adaptive joystick mod that you could use if you want to feel like, have it feel like a stick. But this is just, I'm using both pads as joystick move. And there's really nothing too complicated. The key thing that I have found when I'm playing a twin stick shooter is I go joystick move. And I chop it way down. Because what happens, we'll go, we'll go big. Go big or go broke. Yeah, we'll go above the default. It, do, it just, it doesn't feel super snappy to me because... It's trying to emulate, let's look at the uh, the joystick overlay here. It's emulating a joystick, so it's, you know, soft movement, soft movement until you get out to here. Then that's your full range. Well, this, it, a twin stick shooter doesn't need that. We just need fast, responsive, I actually even had it set to aggressive, so if we take take it down to linear it's going to be even worse you just get like uh, it's kind of hard to see it i feel i'm feeling like there's sluggishness to where i'm aiming i don't like that so the easy thing that i do when i'm playing a twin stick shooter like this or anything that is using joystick move on the right pad we're going to make that aggressive. I put the inner zone up just a little bit so you have some wiggle space in the center. But take this, like, just for an extreme example, we take it all the way down. That immediately feels more responsive. All you're losing by making it super small is you're just not feeling the haptic quite as much. So I'm going to pop that up a little bit kind of right at the Z no I think I like it the O that should be yeah, right there that feels pretty good and it's it's not a, a steadfast rule just experiment per game but for this one yeah that feels that feels nice and now for the left pad, I do have it a little larger because this does have the analog movement. So I want to be able to move nice and slow or all the way. I have this as linear and I did take it a little bit smaller and gave it a slightly larger inner dead zone. And I personally like to go with the circle. It's just, it's a preference. Fiddle around, you'll figure out what you like best. Did I get through a round? Yeah, okay, so anyways, that's one wave. I'm gonna die. Oh, I missed him. Yep. So, anywho. Yeah, it's feeling responsive. It's just a, it's a pretty tricky game. I gotta get used to it. It's tricky, tricky, tricky. But yeah, it feels very responsive. Just since it's been asked. Yeah, I always go with a small... 
pretty small radius for the right side when it's joystick move. And, um, yeah, this, this game is pretty darn fun. Just started getting back into it. I'll, uh, I'll try to get my profile up there. I made a couple little tweaks just for this game, like... Well, just for instance, like, this is joystick move, which would be terrible when I'm doing my dash. So for the dash, I have it changing to uh, gyro, mouse-like joystick, and right pad is mouse-like joystick, so I can more, you know, get more control over moving my dash around. So yeah, that's it. Just some, uh... Some of my, my favorite joystick move twin stick shooter settings.